Hello YouTubers, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Got a little video here for you. This is off Daily Prepper's website on YouTube. And I'll put a link down there, you can check it out. She's got some interesting stuff on her, great stuff. She also, uh, they have a blog you can subscribe to. So uh, I just run into this tonight. I don't know, I was downloading some videos and bang, there I was. And I thought, oh, this is great. Uh, she's got uh, two rain gutter systems that she built that are in her greenhouse and looks like they're doing great. Anyway, I wanted to post this uh, so you can see it. Uh, another little note too is uh, go on Facebook and type in the rain gutter grow system. I'll put a link on the bottom. Uh, I have a page on there and I want people to share their experiences. If you want to build one or if you have built one, you know, share your videos, you know, put your pictures up there. You know, it's kind of a, we can work together on, uh, you know, designing what works great and, and different things. I know I'm going to use different containers. I'm looking at doing some grow bags on the system this year, some totes, uh, many different variations you can do with this grow system. So anyway, take a look at the video, okay? This is Larry. Ciao. Into it. It's our first year doing the greenhouse, so... What we decided to do was, <clears throat> this is a rain gutter gardening. I found this on the internet by a YouTube um, person called Larry Hall, or you can look up rain gutter gardening. And what is done here is, um, you take a rain gutter, and you kind of sandwich it between a couple of 2x4s. You can see at this end down here, we have a float and eventually what we'd like to do is hook this up to our watering system or rain barrels that's what we have here and we're hoping maybe to help keep the water at a normal depth for the plants each of the plants has um, a little hole in the bottom let's see if I can show you on this one they sit down in a trough of water and underneath they have little cups that hang down into it that kind of wick the water up into the pot. It's an ingenious method and it's working really well so far. So I brought uh, in some spinach here, kind of doing a comparison of how it grows in here versus how it grows out in the garden. And I went ahead and planted some things like peppers and tomatoes because this is a warmer temperature in the greenhouse. And then um, strawberries. I have some strawberries in here, two plants and four plants out in the other garden just to get a comparison of how they grow. But our greenhouse is a little tiny six by eight. So this is our little greenhouse. It's uh, hmm, eight by ten I think. We'll put it in last of all. This is gutter gardening, rain gutter. It's rain gutter gardening is what it is. Down here, this will be a spot right here where tubing will bring water from our rain barrels. And then depending on the float, when the float floats up, meaning there's not enough water in the trough, it'll add in a little bit that way from the rain barrels. That's what we're hoping to do. So this section right here is about eight feet long and you can see how many pots of plants it can do. Um, we're kind of starting some stuff in here right now. I have some strawberries, cherry tomatoes, peppers that haven't come up yet. This is a full-size tomato and I had four in spinach. And then on this side we have some uh, onions, scallions, shallots, and a couple that I haven't gotten to yet, and I even have space to put in a couple more. So, <clears throat> you can grow them outside in these gutter gardens. If you watch the video that I put up there, you can see that he grows outside. And then on this side for right now,